Another way we can talk about identical molecules is as those that possess identical connectivity and identical configurations at all stereocenters. So if we look at case number one here, if you were to go through the exercise of assigning RS configurations to these guys, which I highly encourage you to do, what you would see is that the two configurations are both S in the left-hand molecule, two configurations are both S in the right-hand molecule as well. And as it turns out, having the same configurations and the same connectivity is enough for us to conclude that the two molecules are in fact identical, even though they may not look identical based on the way they're drawn. Another way to tell they're identical, just for your reference, is to turn this molecule upside down this way. That would push the OHs to the back and pointing up on the left and down on the right, and in fact, that structure would be perfectly superimposable on the molecule on the left. Now, in cases 2 and 3, what we can see is that the molecules are not identical. In case 2, the stereocenter on the left has a different configuration in the left-hand molecule than it does in the right-hand molecule. And in case 3, both stereocenters in the left-hand molecule differ from those in the right-hand molecule. Thus, these sets of molecules are not identical to one another. However, there's an important difference between case 2 and case 3 that we'll see here in a second. Enantiomers have identical connectivity and different configurations at every stereocenter. So what we can see if we look at case 3 is that these two molecules are enantiomers of one another. They have the same connectivity but they differ at every single stereocenter. They're not identical and they're enantiomers of each other. If the two molecules in question differ not at all stereocenters, but at at least one, then we can say that they are diastereomers of one another. So looking at case two, where one of the stereocenters had the same configuration in both molecules, the other stereocenter did not match in the two molecules. And so these guys differ at at least one, but not all of their stereocenters. So they're not identical, and they're diastereomers of one another. So if you're more comfortable with assigning configurations than trying to superimpose molecules, this can be a nice way to determine the stereoisomeric relationship between molecules just by looking at the configuration of their stereocenters.